should be a uh, super here to extract from. That, that would be my thought. I was thinking I would get this one too, but I'm not gonna. I know that they're just not far enough along. A lot further along than you think. I mean, they've got it drawn out yep. fairly good. Yep. Just it filling it up. And there's a lot of opportunity yet for uh, for this year. For this year, yeah. And honestly, um, I mean, even out here on the end, they're starting to grow. Right, they're starting to fit, yeah. They're not, out. they're not, uh, they're not all the way. No, but they're active. But yeah. they're drawing it fairly well. So they're, they're doing very good. Um, probably ought to smoke them because they're starting to fly around a little bit. Well, and you can hear them, they're a lot louder than the other ones. This is cat, so this is ready to go. Yeah, this is the one I think we'll be able to use to be able to extract. Yeah, this one here, what we'll do, we'll end up pulling it off and moving it up. Okay. And then we'll flip it out. And, uh, but yeah, that's ready to go. That's awesome. Yay! <laughs> it's our first time to extract. Two years! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you never know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really. There you go, boys. Girls. Everybody's got to relax. Now here, again, the, the, the queen tends to lay in this closet in section. Yeah, and out here on the end, if she, she does lay out here too sometimes. Okay. But a lot of times the bees will fill this up with honey. Okay. And she ends up going here, right. here, here. Okay. So she's laying like, and sometimes she'll be maybe on these four or five. Right. Or these four or five. But a lot, she tends to lay in the center. But do you ever extract honey oh, from yeah. these? Do you? Okay. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, what happens, you know, when we talked about her being closed down. Right. Once the, right. Once the bees hatch out, they'll start filling it with honey. <coughs> honey? As so long as you're <coughs> extracting just the honey, right? That's all. It doesn't matter whether she laid eggs and eggs and larvae hatched out. The bees okay. will clean that out, and then they'll put honey in. <coughs> and pardon. Me. Uh, I hope I don't give you this thing. But yeah. What happens? I usually put my finger on me. But she's done an extremely excellent job. Here. Yeah, this is my original queen with the package. She's a mark queen. Right, yeah. I try not to pester them, you know, I come out yep. and check things, but I don't really want to get it to where sometimes I feel like I'm in here more than I need to be. Well, if you come in every now and then, you open it up, just making sure they got enough work for it. But this one's fairly light, but look at the eggs and larvae yeah, down here. Down in here. Okay. Yeah. Remember, from an egg to where they cap it's six days. Right. Okay. So um, you see the eggs down in the larvae down in here, and then they've got some of them are capped right in here, and then these are the drones. Yeah, they're not. The males. Gonna, they're not going to come out and, and, and attack you, but but you got your eggs and larvae laid in, and then there's cat brood. Okay, and this mm -hmm. one here, that's a drone. That's a big old male. They don't have stingers. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so when you see the big ones like this, like this guy right here, you can pick them up and handle them. Okay, it's the small ones here that you have the stingers. And of course, there's the queen that's got the long abdomen, which I kind of doubt. Well, we might find her. And this one here's got a bunch of eggs and larvae on it. Mm -hmm. She's 
She's been good. She's been she's been on me. Yeah. Where's it going? that the, the, the larvae and the eggs where the bees hatch out, the comb tends to be darker. Right. Okay. You know, the brownish. Yeah. I mean, after two or three years, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. Don't be. Uh, okay. You gotta go. Yep. Not a good thing. They don't like you doing that. So this is your workspace here. Yep. I'm staying right. in the back. I know what the trees are supposed to be. And a lot of, a lot of times, well, I wouldn't do it because it's next to neighbor. I like these frames and stuff. The plastic. Do you use know. all plastic? I pretty much buy all new as a plastic. I do reuse the wooden frames. And the reason I like these is they see the comb is all the way up. Right. Out it's out. It's all the way up here. Yeah. You got a lot more surface area for the bees to work. And there's nothing wrong with brown comb. That means the eggs and larvae hatched out, hatched right. out, hatched out. Okay. And with that said, I mean, they say after four or five years. Right. I mean, you can do the change up. But it's not necessary just because of the color. Right. It's not necessary. The bees will actually put honey in, into that, and you can pull and extract the honey out of those frames, out of that comb without any problem, and it doesn't damage the honey at all. Right. Okay? Because the bees themselves clean it up. I was just hoping we could actually yeah, find the bee. I really don't want to tear it down. Oh, gosh darn, you got me right through my... I would do what we, what we're going to do is only take one box today. Okay. Um, that should be 15 more. pounds, roughly. Uh, 10 or 15. Box, mm, more like more like 20, because uh, okay. a full bucket is 60. Oh, okay. Okay. So you know, it would be about 20 pounds. Yeah. Which is quite a bit of honey. Girls, I know you're angry. This was the light one here, right? Uh, let's see. I'm um, not sure to be honest with you. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Right. Put this right here. And I have to set this off here. This one's not going back on, so yep. we might as well and close her up. Might as well plan on doing that. So Yeah. 
if I cussed, I apologize. <laughs> you didn't, actually. <laughs> well, it won't be the first one on the recording. Uh, <laughs> I, I, wa I wasn't really thinking about being recorded, but... Uh, I'll put a little bit of extra protection on now, because mm -hmm. I... So what we're going to do now, honey, is we're going to take this blower and blow those bees out of those frames. Okay. So either in that super, in the frames and yep. stuff, and then they'll take the whole box and frames and everything with them to extract the honey from. Okay. Now we won't need to put another one on there this year, Hal. Just leave it go like it is, and I, I honestly, when you get this one bo uh, box back, right, I put it right back on. Put it right back up here on top. Yep. And then I would, I, I would even think about because there's still a lot of harvesting. Okay. And the colony is the strongest it'll ever be. Right. Because <coughs> they're still brewed to hatch out. Okay. And if she's hatching, and if she's laying 2,000 eggs a day, that's 2,000 bees a day that have, you know, extra workers. Right. That's why the fall harvest tends to be the greatest because you have more workers going out in flight. Okay. So when do you think you harvest again then? Uh, I harvest about the 4th of July for spring. Okay. And then I go back in, usually late September into October, I'm still harvesting. So when I put that new that box back on that I get back from you, would yep. you put another super on top of that box? Nope, or nope, just, nope, that just set that one on there. And you might take half the frames out and put it in another box that's empty and add it to that one. Okay. okay. Take half of them out of the box that I'm going to get back? Right. Okay, half just out of there and then put half in this one that would be just new new frames and new put frames. the other ones on yep. top. Right. So I have four and four. You'll, yeah, or five, five and five. five. Yeah. And Put them to the center. Don't yep. Yeah. Put them start in the center and put the yep. other ones out. Put the new on the outside. Yep. Both. Set them on top. Okay. And both colonies should be working into that fifth box. Uh, yep. This year. Okay. So if I and leave those boxes on all year then through the winter. Um. Yeah. When when you get to the end of October, look in there again. And if both of those boxes are full. Right. Then you probably could steal one more box off each one. Okay. Or leave it on until spring. Yeah, and probably still have to leave it on because we're. I mean, we're. If, if you so think this is uh, the only pounds of honey is enough to survive winter. I mean, yeah. twenty. Well, we we've got like people that uh, we're going to be giving it to folks, <laughs> to friends and stuff. I mean, yeah, well, you know. So. But this is the only extraction for, for the this year. year. For this yeah, year. Next year we'll do it in the spring and then we'll do it in the fall. We'll gotcha. do like the July and then again October. Okay. I have one if that doesn't work out. I have one in the garage. Okay. Yep, just in case. Might not be as snappy as that one, but it works. <laughs> 